In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how Oxygen's Interactions Engine allows you to visually design interactive elements like sliders, tabs, and more, all without having to touch a line of code. This is Elijah from the Oxygen team. Let's get started. Interactions are available for every element. Just select an element and click the Interactions tab in the Properties panel, indicated by the mouse cursor icon. Once there, click Add Interaction to add a new interaction. Triggers are the events that will cause the actions to happen. The available triggers are Click, Mouse Enter, Mouse Leave, Scroll into View, Key Up, Key Down, Page Loaded, and Page Scrolled. In the Target dropdown, you can designate which element should be the one that's listening for the trigger. This element, which is the one you're editing, or another element identified by a CSS selector. If you choose the CSS selector option, you can type in the selector to which this trigger will be applied. Actions are the events that actually happen when the trigger occurs. We can choose to show or hide elements, manipulate classes, tweak variables and attributes, scroll the window to an element, focus an input, or even fire a JavaScript function. Actions require a target. You can choose this element, you can use a CSS selector to determine the target, or you can point the action at the target of the trigger itself. When using the CSS selector target option, you can change how the action target is matched. You can set it to match everywhere, which means any element anywhere on the page with the target selector or criteria will be affected by this action. You can also choose to have the action only impact matching elements that are the children of the element you're adding the interaction to. Finally, you can pick closest parent to apply the action to the closest matching ancestor of the element or children of target to match the children of the specified target element. Under the advanced options, you can set the action to run only once and you can turn the action off for specific breakpoints. On an element, you can have as many interactions as you want, and each interaction can have multiple actions, allowing you to build complex interactive elements. Now that you know where all the controls are and what they do, I'm gonna show you how to use Oxygen's Interactions Engine to build this gallery with thumbnails and an animated image reveal effect. Since we're focused on the interactions themselves, I have the layout already built out. Now we just need to wire up the interactions to make it work. First, make sure each image has a unique class. In my case, I'm using the BEM naming convention and adding thumbnail dash gallery underscore underscore image dash dash one, two, three, and four to make them each uniquely addressable in our interactions. Next, we need the images to change when we hover over our thumbnails. Let's start with thumbnail number one. Select it, then click the interactions icon that looks like a mouse cursor in the properties panel and click Add Interaction. For the trigger, we'll choose Mouse Enter. The target should be this element, and we're going to need a few different actions. For the first action, we'll use the Show Element action to make it show the associated image in the main area. This is where those unique classes come in. So for the CSS selector target, I'll plug in the class that we put on the image associated with this thumbnail. Next, we need to hide the other images. We'll use the hide element action with the CSS selector target option as well, but this time we can put in a comma separated list of classes for the elements we want to hide. Since we want to show image number one, we want to hide images number two, three, and four. If you don't want anything fancy, this is going to do the trick of swapping out the images, but we want a bit of a transition. So we're going to remove a special dash dash transition class from the image then add it back whenever the cursor enters the thumbnail. This gives us the opportunity to add some motion to the image when it swaps out. Now that we've got our interactions all set up on the first thumbnail, we can right click the interactions tab and copy the interactions to the other thumbnails. Then we just need to swap out the image numbers in the classes as needed to make sure the correct images are shown and hidden. Finally, we need to set up our transition class, which is getting applied but doesn't do anything yet. Under selectors, we'll create the dash dash transition class that we're applying and removing in our interactions. And here, we'll just use some custom CSS to create an animation that will play automatically when this class is applied. 
In this case, I'll be creating a kind of slide up effect. Now, if we save and check it out on the front end, we get this really cool thumbnail gallery with some awesome motion, all achieved without having to write any JavaScript at all. Now, you know what Oxygen's Interactions Engine is and how to use it to create incredible interactive elements on your Oxygen sites.